Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of June and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Uh, Aquarius, coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what you need to know regarding your life for the month of June, what is your energy, what you need to know regarding your love life for the month of June, and if you have someone specific on your mind, Aquarius, uh, then uh, for that specific person, I will pull out a couple of romantic messages as well. So make sure you're watching the video till the fag end. All right. So just give me a couple of seconds. I'll shuffle the cards. I'll lay them down. And then we'll discuss the energies. So Aquarius, what do you need to know for the month of June? Aquarius, what do you need to know for the month of June? Aquarius, what do you need to know for the month of June? Aquarius, what do you need to know for the month of June? Aquarius, what do you need to know for the month of June? What is your energy for the month of June? Aquarius, what is your energy for the month of June? What do you need to know for the month of June, Aquarius? All right. So we have Hermit over here. Seven of Swords, Aquarius. Then we have Page of Pentacles. And then we have King of Swords. Okay. Hmm. And this card also wants to come out. Ten of Swords. Let me pull out cards for your love life. Aquarius, what do you need to know regarding your love life? Aquarius, what do you need to know regarding your love life? Aquarius, what do you need to know regarding your love life? What do you need to know regarding your love life, Aquarius? What do you need to know? Three of Wands. What do you need to know regarding your love life? Too many cards. What do you need to know regarding your love life? Page of Swords. Seven of Swords again. Queen of Cups. Maybe the uh, universe wants me to pull out one additional card. Okay, we have got three additional cards. Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, and Ace of Swords. So many sword cards, Aquarius. You might be dealing with uh, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be dealing with... Uh, you might be dealing with a Virgo. You might be dealing with a Pisces, with a Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Okay. I'm wondering why the Swords of Seven of Swords energy is so prominent in almost all of your readings. I think so if I recall uh, properly. I had highlighted this fact in one of my previous readings as well that the seven of swords energy is very prominent in your reading okay so okay we'll talk about seven of swords uh let me tell you about the numbers you might be seeing a lot of 11 11 you might be seeing a lot of uh, 999 777 triple one 888 789 are very prominent numbers one as well 11 11 as well triple one as well so it kind of indicates the ending numbers uh, in a sequence of 1 to 10. If the ending numbers are uh, prominent in, in your life, that means you're definitely coming nearing to an end of a certain cycle, major cycle in your life. So, and for some of you, 
you're like couple of steps away two to three steps away from uh, from the end of that cycle for some of you you might be just one step away from the end of that cycle for some of you you're you have reached there you are in the transition phase okay so one thing is for sure because given the fact that the ending numbers are prominent in your reading it kind of signifies that the end of cycle is not far away okay so ten of swords the hermit seven of swords page of pentacles and king of swords somehow i feel aquarius that the month of june will be the month which will kind of remind you about something that happened in the past okay you might experience a deja vu okay uh, a similar incident which probably happened in the past in this lifetime itself or an incident which had happened in the past lifetime might get repeated in front of your eyes in the month of june and that will give you a sense of deja vu now i feel the reason why it is getting repeated or the reason why you are getting reminded of something that had already happened in the past and most likely i feel like that incidence is related to the seven of swords popping up twice okay so that incidents can be related to some toxicity a toxic person a toxic energy or toxic situation or where you felt manipulated where you felt betrayed and lied and cheated so something of that sort might get repeated in the month of june having said so it won't create a huge impact on you the way it created the kind of impact it had created on you in the past i mean obviously if a certain thing is getting repeated the impact that we feel about that thing at the start the impact if we are going to feel the same thing the second time the impact gets reduced the second time right so it's kind of obvious that you won't feel the impact of it so much the way you felt it during the very first time but i see a repetition of some kind of incidents and maybe that is uh, or for some of you for some of you i feel like someone from the past is coming back in your life aquarius and this time around someone is very much insisting to be with you okay someone with whom you wanted to be with okay in the past maybe one of your exes you wanted to be with that person because you were in love with that person you probably you had taken an initiative that i really like you and what do you think and i i think that even you like me because you are sending me some signals and you're triggering emotions inside me you're acting in a certain way which is implying that you like me just that you are not saying a thing about it but i want to break the silence i want to talk about it so that's why i'm taking an initiative and talking about this matter maybe something like this you had texted to this person or you such kind of conversation you had with this person in the past but your text or your comic conversation was not reciprocated with an equal intensity okay because that person was with someone else okay and they they were like even though they were sending a lot of signals and indications to you they were with someone else so they were lying and cheating they wanted to have the best of all the worlds this person probably had multiple people in their life and you were just a side chick or you were someone on the side okay you were the salad the main course was someone else and the dessert was someone else okay so so that sort of thing was happening in the past and you were not an you were unaware about it you felt like you were the only one in this person's life okay and this person is trying to come back in your life all over again having said so let me tell you aquarius i feel the energy of this person has not changed a bit so maybe this reading is like a warning not a warning not a warning not at all a warning this reading is uh, is probably a reading to make you alert if you can hear the crows i feel someone is coming back i feel someone is coming back and if this person is supposed to come back you will you will hear crows cawing a lot okay i don't know what to say do we say cawing or crawing or what i don't know i'm sorry i missed that word i've forgotten that word so you will hear crows when this person is coming i'm talking about that person and the crows are shouting over there <laughs> 
that will be one of the signs not necessarily that will happen all the time okay or that will happen with every single one of you but i feel there is a very strong presence of someone from the past someone who was manipulative someone who betrayed you it's not necessary that the betrayal and the manipulation will happen uh, in the month of june for with some of you it might happen with a lesser intensity okay for some of you uh, this person is simply coming back someone who betrayed you and manipulated you uh, it can be an ex it can be a business partner it can be a friend there are few friends in your life aquarius or there there are there is a presence of someone in your life uh, who is no more a part of your life but they are trying to come back in your life uh, with an intention to know what are you doing where are you why are you so silent there is no presence about you on the social media or people don't know about you what is going on in your life and what are you doing and what the hell how the hell are you making money in your life we don't know so we want to know so there is someone who is very much curious about you and especially if you are posting your achievements on uh social media and if you're keeping other things hidden like how you're doing and your social life if you're keeping it hidden if uh, where are you working if that is being kept hidden if people are not aware about you then i definitely see someone is coming towards you okay they are coming towards you with to know to dig deeper like uh what are you doing how your life is going okay what are you doing in your life which is helping you make money okay this is more particular uh, for people who are absent from social media but maybe you are posting one or two things after long intervals and if you are posting something uh, about your achievements that is kind of uh, triggering more curiosity in someone's uh, mind okay like oh aquarius was so silent but this is something that they have posted they have posted something about their achievement that means they are doing something so we need to know what they are doing so someone is curious aquarius what is going on in your life and they really want to know they really want to dig deeper so these are some narcissistic energies i'm feeling these are some toxic energies who really want to disturb whatever is going on in your life okay if someone from the past is coming back whether it is an ex or whether it is a, a friend with whom you had no conversation for a real long time if they are trying to come back they are trying to come back only with an intention to manipulate you to to dig deeper in your life to know what is going on in your life they might even try to drug you they might even uh, they might even you know uh, dig out information from you by drugging you like you know what are you doing how are you making money what exactly is going on in your life and all that stuff someone intrusive is coming in your life okay someone intrusive if if an ex is coming back this person has not changed a bit but this person is weirdly obsessive about you okay they are weirdly obsessed and possessed uh, possessive about you and they want to have you but they don't want to commit to you okay they they want to have you but they don't want to commit to you so that's the situation i see over here so next question if this person if they at all come back in your life whether wh whoever this manipulative toxic person is whether it's an ex whether it's a friend or whether it's someone else okay whether even if it's a new person someone from your past life who was toxic to you in the pa in your past life if they are coming back in in this lifetime okay uh, so even if they come back will they be successful in their attempts that is the most important question for you okay the answer is no the answer is no but this reading is happening because universe wants me to alert you see i'll be honest with you aquarius 10 of swords 7 of swords king of swords 7 of swords again okay 9 of swords something is happening okay people are talking about you and whoever is talking about you whoever is gossiping about you uh, they are not your well wishers i definitely sense some toxic energy king of swords is not a toxic energy it is coming across as a defensive energy it is coming across as your energy but your energy in a defensive mode you are trying to defend yourself you are trying to protect yourself okay so why you are in this defensive mode why you are why you are trying to protect yourself because you are sensing some kind of harm from somewhere you are sensing harm from where seven of swords twice ten of swords nine of swords okay you are sensing negativity from here these are the cards that are indicating negativity 7 of swords twice 10 of swords and 9 of swords 
okay so this reading is trying to make you alert through this reading universe wants to make you alert that someone who is curious about you they want to know how much money you make they want to know how you are trying to survive in life they want to know uh, what are you doing because you are coming across as secretive you are not posting much on social media but whenever you post you post something about your achievement so what exactly are you doing what is helping you survive okay what are the blessings that you are enjoying in your life or what exactly you are doing which is helping you survive rise up in your life and achieve the things that you want to achieve right so uh king of swords is about so you know what first of all whoever is coming back they're coming with an assumption that you're still that naive person you're still that uh person with an innocent mind i mean you are innocent not that you have lost your innocence but someone who is gullible someone who doesn't understand what the reality is whoever is coming back there with an assumption that you're still very naive which you are not you have leveled up you have matured aquarius and they have not seen a a changed version of yours yet which they will see in the month of june so anyone trying to mess around with you oh my god aquarius they will be shocked to see a different version a better and a stronger version of you okay something they had not seen in the past so that is why whoever this person is they are making attempts to come back in your life all over again okay but they are not coming with any good intentions and you will recognize that and i also see that i think so this will be the last encounter that will happen between you and this toxic energy it can be a single person it can be many people it can be a certain toxic situation which uh, you are a part of in the past okay and someone is uh, coming towards you with an offer to be a part of that situation all over again so i feel like whatever is happening between you and these toxic energies this will be the last one this will be the last encounter okay i think so you are making things clear to them because you know that you are on the path of growth you know that you are walking down the path of success and you really don't want anyone you really really don't want anyone to mess around with whatever you are trying to build up you really don't want anyone to mess around with what you are trying to create in your life okay so you have put in your heart and your soul your blood and your sweat into whatever you are trying to create for yourself whether it is personal development professional development you don't want any tom dick and harry to come and disturb whatever you are trying to do okay you value yourself you respect yourself you value your hard work and anyone whoever tries to mess around with that is going to get a peace of mind okay and you are under no one's obligation so that's what i see over here okay so you are one boss up person okay you are the boss of your own life and the best thing about you, uh, about the new version of yourself is that you respect yourself a lot aquarius okay you respect your efforts you respect and value your feelings you respect who you have become you respect what you are trying to build uh, what you are trying to build up you respect your beliefs and anyone trying to shake it down you're not going to take it nicely okay so whoever this idiots they are coming towards you they won't be successful okay so that in fact this month of june will make you also realize that wow okay i am doing good for myself okay and it's not that you don't know that you're doing good for yourself you are already doing good for yourself but it will be another feather in the cap that's what i feel 
and a lot of opportunities are coming your way aquarius money making opportunities opportunities to make new friends in your life i feel you are not far away from your soul tribe aquarius you are going to meet your soul tribe clearly uh, many of you are ending certain cycles and beginning new cycles and these new cycles will begin with you you making new friends you meeting uh, your soul tribe you hanging out with the right pe uh, with the right people okay so let's talk about uh your love life we have three of wands page of swords seven of swords and queen of cups aquarius whoever is coming towards you they are coming towards you from a far off distance but you are being watched someone from the past is keeping a watch on you or people who are interested in you right now but they are somehow aware that you might not be interested in them or you are not interested in them they are keeping a watch on you because they don't want anyone else to come closer to you they don't want anyone else uh, to be uh, you know to take you away from them they like the fact that you're single they are, they like the fact that they still have a chance with you which they will never have they won't be successful but being single in the, it means that you're not committed to anyone else okay it means that you are not taken that means that they do have a chance they just they just like to sit on that hope even though they know that keeping that hope is is rather hopeless okay so they there are people around you who don't want you to get get married there are people around you who don't want you to be with someone else they there are people in fact there are maybe you are also acting as a provider to someone to your family members and your family members are kind of codependent on you and they don't want you to go away from them because if you go away from them that will kind of uh, make their life uh, slightly miserable and they don't want that okay if that is not the scenario you have lot of romantic interest and you don't want them aquarius okay you want uh, they want you to remain single but yes there is someone from a far off distance who is coming towards you and who is right for you so whoever currently these people are who who want you to be single they won't be happy with the fact that you are getting into a committed situation with someone so they may try to make attempts uh, they may try to attempt uh, to 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 create some rift between you and this person again they won't be successful aquarius i kind of feel that wherever you are living it's not helping you rise up with the speed at which you should rise up okay you should be a part of more liberal atmosphere you should be a part of atmosphere where there is a lot of uh, motivation and encouragement and inspiration uh, the energy wherever you are right now is not conducive for your growth all and that is why uh, you sometimes you feel drained really fast okay the reason why you feel drained so fast is because the energy is not conducive for your growth okay it kind of drains you to a to a large extent and a possible relocation if you're thinking about relocation congratulations that is the right decision for you but if you're not thinking about relocation maybe this reading is encouraging you to think about a relocation that will help you get rid of of all these toxic energies in your life okay whoever is coming towards you most likely is a combination of air and water i somehow feel like this person might be another aquarius or uh, this person might also has uh, might also have uh earth placements i somehow feel like this person might be capricorn aquarius pisces or this person might be sagittarius capricorn aquarius or scorpio sagittarius capricorn okay this person might have some consecutive uh, uh signs as their sun moon rising uh and they are very good at heart they are very generous very good at heart they will love you a lot they will take care of you a lot and this person is is a is a big thinker they don't think small they always think uh, from a long term perspective and they think big this person possibly is going to be a business person a business woman business man this person possibly is going to be someone uh who already has some kind of an empire or who who ha who is running businesses with a very big turnover uh this person is someone who is actually uh helping many people rise up okay because they they possibly are a rags to riches story and they are going to connect with you because 
uh, you know, they will kind of recognize something with you. They will, they, of course, there will be a soul to soul connection, but but I also feel like they will also recognize the the troubles and the challenges you have been through in your life because they have been through similar challenges. This person is an empath. This person is uh, uh, is an empath. Is is I feel is a very good psychic. Okay, and this person is also an energy reader. They can read energies very fast. And they will feel that connection with you because they are able to read your energy really fast. They will feel that positive connection with you. Right? So, okay, let's proceed to these three eight cards now. Uh, eight of Wands, Ace of Swords and Nine of Swords. If you are stressed out regarding something... I believe that you will get certain ideas which will give you some kind of a re relief from an ongoing stress. If the stress is related to your loan or if the stress is related to something else, I feel the quick solutions are coming your way. I also see some important communication coming your way which will help you, uh, which will help you uh, in resolving some ongoing tensions okay, or some ongoing stress. Otherwise, I see you have a wonderful reading. Okay. In fact, this is rather a very positive reading. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Think about someone special, uh, Aquarius, and let's see what this person is thinking about you. Um, of course, I'm pulling out some romantic messages. So, think about someone special. Okay. I'm pulling out these romantic messages now. Your love is the only reason to wake up every morning. Wow, look at this. This is so beautiful. So this person wants to say that your love is the only reason to wake up every morning. And what else? Oh, this is Teddy. You are not my love. You are my life. Wow, someone wants to say you are not my love, but you are my life. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's dig out more about the person that is coming towards you, the new person, not an old one, okay, enough of the old one. Let's, uh, Spirit, please tell me uh, something about the new person that is coming towards Aquarius's way. Tell me something more about the new person that is coming towards Aquarius's way. Tell me something more about the new person coming towards Aquarius's way. Tell me something more about the new person coming towards Aquarius's way. Okay. High Priestess, Death and Rebirth, The Fool, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Six of Cups, enough. So clearly, whoever next is coming your way, whoever this new person is, they are your soulmate. They are pretty rich. They are rich, I'm telling you. Whoever this person is, this person possibly uh, already has an empire or is on the verge of building an empire. Whoever this person is, they are a catch, they are a risk taker, and they travel. They like traveling a lot. Okay, they like they like experiencing new things. This person possibly has. Uh, uh, there is a reason why this person is popping up in your life. Okay, this person was there with you in multiple past lifetimes as well, and this person is popping up in your life in this lifetime as well. And there is a reason why they are coming in your life. The, both of you are required to do certain things together. You have common life purpose. Yes, they are a shaman. They are a psychic. They are good with the money. Undoubtedly, this person is really good with the money. For some of you, this person is already married. They might have kids. They are a divorcee right now. And they are in search of you. They are trying to search you. They want to, they want to be with you. Okay, They are coming towards you. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonates. Hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right, take care. Have a great time ahead. Bye-bye.